Hello, Yarnabees. It's Sandy. I am going to be showing you a tutorial on how to make this wonderful hybrid of a beanie and a headband, and I'm calling it a beanie band. And um, it's this is a very easy project to do. It's a quick project to do. So if you have a um, a gift that needs to come like really lickety split and you're going, what do I make? What do I do? This is a great one for that. So, um, yeah. So if you would like to learn how to make this wonderful beanie band, then stay tuned. Okay. So the, um, the items that you're going to need is you've got a choice. You can either use two balls or two skeins of the premium, Bernat Premium and this colorway is parchment and this is a hard um, color to get. It, you get it at Walmart but this is a brand new color and for some reason I'm having a hard time finding it. <laughs> so, But you can use whatever color you want as long as you have a base color and an accent color. So you've got your base and then you've got your accent. Okay, so um, this is the Burnett Premium. I like to use two balls together, uh, but you have the choice. You can either use two balls together or you can use one ball and use the inner piece and the outer piece to make two strands because you're going to need two strands for this. Okay, then you're going to need your accent color. And this one, you're only going to need one strand. Okay, so whatever accent color you want. I'm using the Bernat Premium again, and this is in Black Sparkle. Okay, so remember you need two strands of this, one strand of this. Then you're going to need your scissors, your darning needle, and a hook. And this hook is the Furl Streamline Swirl. You don't have to use this hook. <laughs> Just use any eight millimeter hook. It's an M. Okay, and that's all you need. So let's get started. Here we go. So grab your yarn. Oops. Okay. Now we're going to start off with a foundationless double crochet. Okay. Now the way I measure this is um, I'm I. I think I'm doing 40 um, foundationless double crochets, but depending on the size of your head, like I said, this has a lot of stretch, so you can start off with 40 and then see where it goes, but you're going to want to do it in a multiple of two. Okay, so here we go. You start, oh, I'll bring it in a little bit, hang on. Now this stitch can be a little frustrating at first if you've never done it before, but believe me, when you finally get the hang of it, you're going to love it and you're not going to want to do a chain anymore. I don't like doing a chain for my hats because um, I don't get that give, right? So, okay, so we're going to chain up three. Bring in a little bit more. Oops, wrong way. Okay. Okay, now what you're going to do, I'll, I'll leave a link below on videos on how to do this, but uh, <clears throat> what you're going to do is you're going to chain over, ch yarn over, I mean, you're going to go into that first chain. Okay, you're going to pull up a loop. You're going to yarn over, you're going to put, pull a loop through that first loop. That's going to give you the base for your next double crochet. And then you're going to finish doing your double crochet. Pull it through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, now you've got two double crochet. Okay. So we're going to keep doing that 40 times. 
yarn over. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to look down here. Okay, you're going to see a loop here and then there's a loop here. This is the loop that you're going to go into. Okay, this is going to be a little confusing until you get going. Okay, yarn over, pull up one, yarn over, pull up one, and then do your double crochet. Finish off your double crochet. Okay, now you've got three double crochets. Okay, see this loop right at the bottom, right here? That's the loop that you're going to be working in. Okay, yarn over, go into that loop, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one, and then finish your double crochet. Okay, now you've got four. Okay, now find that loop down at the bottom. It's right here. Okay. Yarn over, go through that loop. Yarn over, pull up one loop. Yarn over, pull up one loop. And then finish your double crochet. Okay, now if you're getting confused on these loops on the bottom, you're going to see you're going to see the lines. Those are the holes that you work through. Okay, so here's the next one right here. Okay, so if you ever get confused, just look at the bottom and you'll see where that loop is. Okay? Yarn over, go through that loop. Now don't do these tight because if you do these tight you're not going to see these loops very well. Alright, so keep it really nice and, and loose, but not too loose that it's just all going to fall apart on you. Okay, yarn over, pull through once, yarn over, pull through once, yarn over, pull through two, pull through two to finish off that double crochet. My dog, I, I swear, she barks at air. And I just had a thought. This is this helped me when I first started doing these. Okay, it's counting. Okay, there's four steps to this stitch. Okay, so you go in, pull up. That's one. Go in, pull up one more. Two. Finish your double crochet. Three four. Okay, so when you're doing this count, it makes it a little bit easier. One, two, three, four. That way you know that you've done all the steps to this stitch. Okay, hope that helps. Okay, so once you've finished your 40 double crochets, foundationless double crochets. You're going to take it and you're going to, whoops, you're going to put these sides together. Okay. Now this is just the way I do it, but you can join your two sides of your brim together however you want. But what I do is I take my, this is my working side, this is my side that I started with. I just take my hook in the side that I started with, put my working yarn on there. Oops, make sure you don't twist it and just pull it through. Okay. And then I just go over here on this side and just grab a stitch. the bottom of the stitch. Then I find the other side and go through the bottom of the stitch there and pull it through both. Okay, and then you chain one. 
Okay, and that'll connect your sides. Okay, now. Now what I do is I flip it inside, flip it right side out. Okay. So this was the side that you were working on. You're going to flip it. Okay. And then you're going to start doing your front post, back post for the brim. Okay, now once you've chained up two, whoops, you're going to start doing your front post and your back post stitches. Okay, now what I like to do, just to make sure, I know that 40 front post double, or uh, foundationless double crochets work for what I'm doing. But um, if you have to make this bigger or smaller, you want to make sure that you have enough stitches to make your front posts and your back posts work evenly. Okay, so what I like to do is once you've got this together, is you go to your first stitch, okay, not this, this is your, your, um, your chain that you put together, put this all together, you go to this chain and you go front, back, front, back, front, back, and you, that's, that's the way I count my stitches to make sure that I have enough that it's going to be even. Okay, so front post, back post, front post, back post, front post, back post. And you do that all the way to the end. And you should end on a front post. Okay, so that this chain or that this edging here that you have that you put this together that will sink backwards and be a back post. You don't have to work in that. Okay, so oops, so here we go. Okay, we're going to just put that to the back. Okay, so you're going to yarn over. You're going to go to your your first stitch here. You're going to go in that hole and wrap your hook around that stitch. Yarn over, pull through, and finish your double crochet. Come on. Now you're going to yarn over. Now you're going to do a back post stitch. You're going to go in behind this stitch, put your hook over top and down. Pull your yarn through and finish your double crochet. Okay, now you're going to do front post, go down, pull it in behind that stitch and up through, pull your hook through and finish your double crochet. Now you're going to do back post. Put your whoops. I'm trying to look through the camera. Put your hook in behind and up through that stitch. Put it over the stitch and back down. Pull your yarn through. And finish your double crochet. Okay. So there's the front post, the back post, the front post, the back post. Okay. Now you're going to do your front post, go down and under, and you're going to do this all the way around. And you're going to do your back post, go underneath, pull your yarn through, finish your double crochet. Okay, pull your, put your hook down through. Pull your hook up, pull your yarn through, and double crochet. Okay, now you're doing your back post. Go in the back, pull your hook through the hoop, through the hole, put it over top of your stitch and down, pull it through. And finish your double crochet. Okay, 
So there you go. And this is going to be your brim. Now there's lots of videos on YouTube that teach you how to do the front post, back post. If I'm not explaining it right, if I'm not explaining it the way that you can understand it, um, go check out a bunch of the YouTubers out there that can explain it a little better. Okay, front post. Finish your double crochet and back post. Okay, and then continue that all the way to the end and I will meet you there. Okay, here I am at the end and I've got my front post and then you're going to go into that next stitch right there. Oops. And you're going to fasten off. And you're going to chain up two. Okay. And then you're ready to do your next set. Okay. And all you're going to do is one double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, just go into your stitches here and do a double crochet. Okay, that's all you're going to do. Easy peasy. And when you're finished, it should look like that. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, now I'm at the end. And again, I'm just going to go into the first stitch and fasten off. Now you're going to chain up two. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to do a double crochet in the back stitch. Okay, but what I like to do, just to make it so it's not so wishy-washy, make it more stable, is I like to go into the top here, yarn over, go into the top, and I like to go into the third loop as well. Okay, so you've got your V, right? This is your front front stitch, or front of your stitch, your back of your stitch, and if you flip it over, there's another one right here. See? That's your third loop. Okay. So when I do this, I like to go in here and grab that third loop, okay? And that gives it some extra stability. Okay, so you go in here and you go all the way down to the bottom so that you've got your third loop. Oops, I forgot to yarn over. <laughs> okay, you pull it up and do your double crochet. Okay, go down. This makes it easier. Go down in here and flick your hook backwards and that will pick up that third loop. Okay, because you can see your third loop right here. Okay, right here, right here, right here. That's your third loop. So you're going to yarn over, you're going to pull it down, flick it back, 
can oops and grab that third loop. If that is confusing you, don't worry about it. Just go into your back loop. Okay? You can still go just go into your back loop and do it that way. I just like that little extra stability. Okay. And it's going to give you this ridge. Okay. It's the same ridge that you've got here. All right. Go in and keep doing that all the way around until you get to the end. Oops. meet you at the end. Okay, once you finish that row, you're going to change colors. So you're going to pull your yarn through and change colors however you normally do. Come on, there you go. Okay. Pull my color through. And then I like to just make a little knot with my two that you don't see, just to secure it. Okay. Okay. I can chain two. You're going to yarn over and work into that first stitch. I like to work over my ends. Yeah, put your yarn or your hook through, pull up a loop, pull through two, and stop there. <coughs> Excuse me. Yarn over, go through that same loop or stitch, pull through, pull through two. Now you're going to have three, do one more, go through that whole, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and then you'll have four loops on your hook. You're going to pull through all four and chain one. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing in the next one. I'm going to go through the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go through the next, or the same, same uh, stitch, pull up, pull through two, and now you've got three, yarn over, go through the same stitch, pull up, pull through two, now you've got four on your hook. I'm going to pull through all four and chain one. Okay? So there you go. And keep going. Go to the next stitch. Pull up. Pull through two. Yarn over. Go on the same stitch. Pull up. Pull through two. And my tail is getting in the way now, so we will just snip it off. There. <clears throat> okay. Yarn over, go through the same stitch, yarn over, pull through two, 
Now you've got four on your hook. Pull through all four and chain one. I'm going to cut off the rest of this tail here. Okay. And there you go. And then you keep going. Keep doing this all the way around. Yarn over, go through the next stitch, pull up, pull through two. Yarn over, go through the same stitch, pull up, pull through two. Yarn over, go through the same stitch, pull up, go through two. Now you've got four on your hook. Pull through all four, chain one. And that's the way it should look. And keep going all the way to the end and I will meet you there. Okay, so I'm at the end and now we're going to change colors again. So we're going to put our hook into our first stitch and fasten off and then we're going to grab our strands of our base color and we're going to attach it. If I can find my <laughs> find my uh, strings here and then I'm just going to do a little knot there and I'm going to cut off my accent color. Okay, then we're going to chain two. Okay, now this is what it's going to look like so far. Hang on, I'll just pull you out a little bit. Okay, it's going to look bowed, but that's okay because once we do our next two rows, it's going to pull it back in. All right, so don't let that worry you. Okay. There we go. What we're going to do now is we're going to repeat these two rows here. Your double crochet row and then your um, back, your back post, not back post. <laughs> oh good lord. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> back loop row. There we go. <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to do double crochet in this first stitch right here just to start us off. You can go over top of your tails. There. Now you're going to go in between your stitches. Your Okay, so you're just going to do a double crochet. Okay. Go in between your stitches, do a double crochet. We can work these tails in later, so don't worry about those. Okay, in between, double crochet. Go in between your next one, double crochet. Okay, you're just going to keep doing that all the way around. In between, in between, okay, it's easy peasy row. And just do that all the way around and I will meet you back. Okay, so I've finished that row. Now you're going to go into the first stitch that we started and you're going to join and chain two. Okay now, if you look, starting to pull it all back in again. 
Okay, this next row is going to pull it in even more. Okay. So now we're going to go back to the into this row here. We're going to go yarn over. Look at your stitches here. You're going to go into that back. Now you have the option. You can either get the third loop or not. Yarn over. Do your double crochet. Go into the back loop. Oops, lost my yarn there. Go into your back loop. Pull up. And do your double crochet. Go into your back loop. Back loop. Pull up. And do your double crochet. Down into your back loop. And double crochet. You're going to get that ribbing again. Okay. Okay. You're just going to keep on going to the end. go. Now we'll meet you at the end. Okay, I'm at the end. So now we're just going to join our stitches. Okay, now we're going to do a crab stitch to finish off the hat. So we're going to chain up one. Now the crab stitch is one of my favorite ways to finish off, but you don't have to do this. So you can either just leave this the way it is, you could do a single crochet around it if you want to. You can finish this hat, this um, headband, whichever way you want. I just like to do the crab stitch. So, um, a lot of people find this hard because you feel like you're kind of twisting your wrist or whatever, but um, you don't have to do this part if you don't want to. Okay, so this is uh, this is how I do it. You're going to go backwards. You're going to go into this stitch here. So you're going to take your hook, put it in that stitch, grab your yarn, pull it up. So you've got two on your hook, yarn over, pull through both. Okay. You're going to do that again. Put your hook in there into that stitch. Grab your yarn. Pull it up. Pull through both. Okay, go into the next one. Put your hook in there. Pull up your yarn. Yarn over. Pull through. Okay. Now do this really, like, don't hold your your hook really tight, okay? Just, like, loose, okay? Because otherwise you're going to be, like, twisting your wrist and everything, and you don't want to do that, okay? So really light, just really light. Put your hook in. Pull your yarn through. Don't pull your yarn through this, the, the loop. Just pull your yarn up, yarn over, pull through. Okay, go into the next one. Put your hook in, grab your yarn, pull it up, and through. This takes a little getting used to, but I really like the way it finishes off the hat or the, the, um, the band. Okay. So you keep doing that all the way around. Put your hook in, grab your yarn, pull it through, 
yarn over, pull through both. Oops, I'm getting my other yarn hooked. Okay, go into the next one. Pull your hook through, pull your yarn up, yarn over, pull through. Okay. Put your hook in, yarn up, pull through. Okay, and then you just keep doing that. And when you get to the end, I will, I will see you back there. Okay, now we're at the end. We've got one stitch left. Okay, I'm going to bring you in a little closer for this one. What you're going to do, same thing. You're going to go in, pull it through, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, now this is where you're basically doing your um, fastening off. Okay, you're going to go through, oh, oops, I missed a thing here. <clears throat> you're going to go into that next stitch pull your yarn, but now you're going to pull it through your hook or pull it through that loop, okay? You pull your yarn through and this is where you can fasten off. Okay, I'm going to show you that one more time. Okay. Okay. Going to go into that next one. This is your, your first crab stitch. Put your hook in, grab your yarn, and pull it through. Remember I told you not to pull it through that loop for all of these? Now you're going to pull it through that loop. Okay. And then you're going to yarn over, pull through, and fasten off. Okay. Cut your yarn. Okay. There you go. Now you're going to take your, your loop, put it through one more time, and pull tight. And I like to take this knot and pull it down like that. Okay? Now, see this little loop here? You're thinking, well that doesn't look right, right? This is what I like to do. You get your darning needle. You put your yarn in your darning needle. Okay. Now I like to go and take my darning needle, put it underneath those loops. Okay, so it catches those loops. Flip your project around and then put it through all of your loops on here. Okay, and then pull it tight. There, and that pulls that right in. See how it pulled that in? Okay, there. Now it looks like just all the others. <laughs> Neat trick, eh? Okay. Then I just cut this off. And there you go. You are finished. Okay. And that's all there is to it, guys. There you go. See how it pulls it right all in again? There. And then you can put your tag on it or whatever you're going to do. Okay. That's it. Ta-da! You're done. You're done. So thank you for joining me. I had fun doing this tutorial. And, oh, and I hope you did too. 
and join me next time. Okay, thanks guys. Love y'all. Bye.